boys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're once again talking about security breach. We just got news that FNAF security breach is once again making an appearance in NVIDIA's GeForce presentation on the 12th of April. So I'm hopping on here to share the news, give some predictions, what I'm hoping to see, what I'm hoping we don't see. Also, I want to touch upon more info that was released for the screenshots of security breach that were shown off in Darko's charity stream for WWF over the weekend. And also, I want to share my predictions for the release date for FNAF security breach. So let's not waste any more time. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Quickly before we hop into it, I do just want to say that next week is going to be Security Breach Week on the channel. I'm going to try and upload every single day next week, going in-depth with mechanics and lore on Security Breach. So if you have any theories or any game mechanics or lore you want me to talk about next week for Security Breach, leave them in the comments. So subscribe so you don't miss Security Breach Week and let's hop into the screenshots first of all. So the other day Docker released HD versions of the Security Breach screenshots and also the official names for the teasers. I already talked about them in my video on it in case you missed it, it'll be linked down also be an iCord. You got the Atrium, you got Chica's Green Room, the L Chip Restaurant, Phaser Blast Arena, Phaser Blast Counter, Freddy Green Room, Gator Golf Sub Lobby, Logo, Mini Golf, Monty Golf, Monty Golf 2, Monty Green Room, Roxy Green Room, Roxy Raceway, Salon, Salon 2, Sewer, Title, Utilidors and West Arcade. Yeah, like I said earlier, I did talk about most of these in that video. Uh, however, a few of these names are new. So the atrium is interesting because the definition of atrium is like an entrance to a, a villa, a house. It's Latin. Um, I don't know why this room specifically is called the atrium. Um, I'm guessing that must mean it's the entrance to the mall. That stage on the right side may be the stage that we saw in the first ever teaser on scottgames.com for the game. Yeah, it seems like this room is kind of like the main hub, the main entrance to the, the establishment, which makes sense because you can see signs going off into the other rooms like the raceway, the salon, and the, the, the laser tag area. L Chip's restaurant. Now we do see L Chip in the teaser. I'm pretty sure that's something that we all picked up on, but it seems like the name implies that this is his restaurant, which does make sense. I mean, it does fit the theme of the L Chip animatronic. I'm just interested to see where that goes. Because El Chip, of course, at this point in the timeline, doesn't exist. He was burned in the FNAF 6 fire. Though, as we all know, it seems like the Pizzaplex is gathering artifacts from the past uh, games and past locations. So I think it's going to be very interesting if we see a somehow, like, not necessarily salvaged, not like Scrap Baby or, or uh, Scrap Trap, but like a, I don't know what other word to use besides salvage, but not like a broken down L chip, but one that was from the FNAF 6 pizzeria that they brought over to the Mega Pizzaplex to perform in the restaurant. Or he very well could just be the mascot. I don't know. We already know that the Gator Golf is a sub lobby, whatever that implies. The Utilidors we touched upon, the West Arcade we touched upon, uh, and also the Sewers. I did mention the name of the of that teaser in my video, it just seems like maybe not many people picked up on it because Daco did mention it during his uh his charity stream but yes that is the sewer and i don't want to spoil it but because it's going to be a part of security beach week again subscribe but there is a very big theory going around about what is in the sewers or better yet who is in the sewers. Yeah, so that's the latest news on the screenshots of Security Breach. Now let's talk about the NVIDIA appearance that will be happening again on the 12th of April. Kind of a ways away, uh, but hey, we got something to look forward to now with this game, which is very exciting. With a release date being pushed further and further away, it is very uh, refreshing to know that we do have stuff to look forward to from this game, for this game, however I should phrase it because I'm bad at English, before the release date. It's not like we're watching the clock, waiting for the release date to be announced. We have things to look forward to. Teasers, trailers, tech demos. Stillwell Studios did say in a PlayStation blog that they have more tricks up their sleeveys. And it seems like this tech demo is going to be the latest surprise. So, 
People got emails from NVIDIA with the following statement. Game developers worldwide are using NVIDIA technology to create interactive realistic graphics that take immersion gameplay to the next level. And you can experience it all at this year's GPU technology conference starting April 12th. So it seems like it may be a multi-day thing. Actually it is. It goes from the 12th to the 16th. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier in the video. So it's not guaranteed we get security breach on the 12th. We could get it on the 13th, 14th, 15th or even the 16th. I'm hoping we get a schedule, but usually with stuff like this, we won't. So we're just gonna have to keep our eyes out for that week. Join us and see how NVIDIA technology has been integrated into popular game titles, such as Cyberpunk 2077, Minecraft, Valorant, Destiny 2, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, Sniper Elite 4, Pumpkin Jack, and Crisis Remastered. So there you have it now that we know the release date. I want to talk about what I hope we get. None of what I'm about to say is confirmed. This is my my thoughts up in here, up in me head. I'll keep it a buck with you boys. I really, really hope that we don't get a panning shot of the places in the establishment. Stewell has been very good at engaging with the community, you know, keeping up with what we like, what we don't like. So I hope that they've seen that we're not too big a fan of panning zoomed areas. I personally am fine with it. Like you look at what we got last tech demo, we got a look at so many brand new locations. I I wouldn't be that upset if we got another one, but thinking of like the entire community, they would be kind of peeved off. But at the same time, you guys got to realize that this is a tech demo. It's not trailer number three, right? It's not, it's not even trailer number four. This showcase is meant to show off the graphics of the game. I believe last time it was for the PC. So I really, really do hope that we get more shots of different places in the establishment or better shots at newly revealed locations. Like I doubt they'll do the sewers, but like the salon, I hope we get looks at more characters, though. I don't think that is going to happen. Last time we saw the, the cleaning robots, you know, like the waiters and the servers around the, the pizza plex establishment. I really do hope to see them again. I feel like they are a very interesting set of characters that we haven't really explored uh, too much of just yet. But overall, I don't think we'll see many characters. I think it will mostly be shots of different locations in the establishment. Now, because we have seen the previous tech demo, I do think it'll be sort of along the same lines as that. Again, shots of locations. I hope they do it in a way that isn't panning though. Again, I, I think the community will be upset if they do that again because they don't like it. Maybe it would be better if we got like shots that kind of looked like we were looking through security cameras, if you know what I mean. As for a release date, which is kind of the, the final thing I want to touch upon, I don't think we'll get one here. It's not a, a good place to release a release date. It's more likely that they would do it either on their own channel in a PlayStation State of Play again. I don't know when the next one is. I heard that there is one coming up soon, but I just don't know if SB is gonna be in it, so that's why I haven't mentioned it just yet. We have been getting a lot of new details on the game. Again, we got the gameplay trailer in February. We got the the screenshots on Daco's uh, charity stream, and now we're getting another tech demo in April. So we're getting a lot right now. So it seems like uh, Stillwell is, is ready to show what they've been working on. So I don't know if that necessarily means we are getting close to the release date. I hope we are. Uh, Scott did say early 2021, not late 2021. Though, again, if, we, if we're getting a tech demo on April 12th, which is mid-April, I would find it weird if they released it near that time. That's why I'm still, personally, me, just my thoughts, I'm still sticking with a May release date. I think that's more likely than they release it near that tech demo release date, because again, that's not a good place to reveal a release date. The NVIDIA showcase is meant to show off graphics. It's not meant to really be informational the way that state of plays are, you know? Like state of play shows off graphics and it's just a better, more uh, mainline, mainstream way of showing off information about a game. NVIDIA showcases are really only for like people who want to look at the, the graphics of the game, all that stuff. So I don't think we'll get one in the showcase, but I do think that we'll get one within the next couple of months, hopefully. I really should say that we're getting the game in the next couple of months because again, early 2021, if they're getting another tech demo in April, I, I really do hope that we get a, 
a release date soon because we're kind of almost done with early 2021 you could say we're about to go into spring we're about to go into the fourth month in a couple of weeks so that's really it tell me what do you hope to see in the nvidia showcase down below in the comments i think the one thing that i should say is that we should keep our expectations low i feel like the probably the main reason why people didn't like the last tech demo was because we were expecting a trailer number two and then scott later said that the tech demo was just that a tech demo and not a second trailer so when we get it don't expect anything big again it's probably going to be more shots of locations in the establishment we probably won't see any animatronics probably won't get a release date so keep your expectations low so that's it get excited for security breach week happening next week and i'll see you all on the flip side